Hey guys, welcome back to the House of Secure Network. Today we'll discuss two types of firewalls. That is a web application firewall, which is also known as a WAF, and the other one is a network firewall, which can be known as a next gen firewall, as people say, and both are not the same. One works on layer 7 of the OSI layer, the other one works on layer 3 and layer 4. So without further ado, let's get into the video right after this short intro. So what are network firewalls? Well, network firewalls are nothing but security devices that are used to stop and mitigate unauthorized access to your private network which are exposed to the internet. Now, how do we do that? We write policies on that firewall. These policies are designed in such a way as in when an unauthorized traffic tries to enter your corporate network, that policies get triggered and then block that traffic completely. Now, where do we place that firewall? It is usually placed on the perimeter end, that is the front line between the internet and the internal network. So what are web application firewalls? A WAF helps protect web applications by filtering and monitoring HTTP traffic between a web application and the internet. Now, what does it protect from? It usually protects from the web-based attacks that enter the network via layer 7 of the OSI layer, that is the application layer. Now, how does it protect? It usually behaves or you know, believes as a shield over and above the next gen firewall, that's the network firewall, just so that the layer 7 and the layer 3, both layers are protected. All right, so let's understand this concept graphically with some pictures around. So say you're a user on the internet trying to access a few web applications on the corporate network. Now the corporate network is behind the WAF and the network firewall. So your request will go to the WAF, the WAF will send it to the network firewall and then it will send the request to the corporate network and then the corporate network will send you the request with some access permissions uh, accepted for the web application. Now, had we not had the WAF in place, the request would directly go to the network firewall. The network firewall will forward it to a corporate network. Now, here's the catch. The network firewall does not understand web-based or non-web traffic. So it blindly accepts and forwards it because they have the policies for that. Now, had this been a non-legitimate traffic, this would be this would have been a compromise of the traffic and the corporate network and all the web applications on that. Now, had the WAF been in place, the request would go directly to the WAF. It would be secured via the WAF and then passed on towards the corporate network. But in that case, you know, we really need both the WAF and the network firewall. So it's really important to have the layer 7 protected as well as layer 3 when there are web applications involved in the whole infrastructure. That's about it. So you have a WAF and you have a network firewall and both are not the same. If you have a few web applications on your network, you need to have a WAF and then you also need to have a network firewall because the layer 7 and layer 3, both the layers on the OSI layer are to be protected in order to protect web-based attacks on your web applications. I hope you like this video. Do subscribe to my channel, The House of Secure Network. Until next time, goodbye, stay safe.